video, I just want to go ahead and create a guideline on how my team has been using ChatGPT to be able to generate different SMS marketing for a cold outreach to generate motivated sellers for real estate investors. So I have here a document which I will share in the description or comment section below where you can just copy and paste literally from here to ChatGPT to help you generate different SMS variations. So you can either start from scratch or you can have ChatGPT help ChatGPT to help you rewrite a specific templates. So I actually uploaded here templates that are 10 DLC compliance as you know 10 DLC is a leaving reading compliance that you need to make sure that you follow all the time so whenever you generate an SMS template just make sure that you have got yourself updated and just update this following rules if you have additional you can always add your additional rules in here so all I needed to do is just copy here copy this exact wording and then just move this to chat GPT so here you can also change introduce me as however you want to introduce yourself and here if you want like 10 you can do 10 but for me I just need like five different initial SMS and then I did tell chat GPT that I want anything under 160 characters in that the recipient will be labeled as using my a specific custom fields connected to my CRM so whenever I have to copy and paste that template it's ready to use in the, the CRM and obviously to make sure that opt-out messages will be included in all of these text messages and you know these three are just basically just a reminder to make sure that we respect the recipient's privacy and to be clear clear with the intention of really buying the home in every text and to use the words or encouraging word by ending the message with an open-ended question so let's go ahead and try to upload this and here it's now helping us generate all of these messages okay so as you can see i now have five different templates the only problem is that i have these words that are flag uh, meaning TCPA or carriers easily detects these words to be spam. So as soon as they see these messages, there's a big possibility that your messages will be flagged or your numbers is going to get flagged for spam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a second prompt to ask ChatGPT to rewrite basically this templates, making sure that it exclude all of these other words to make sure that we're gonna stay compliant so there i now have five it's cc i'm reaching out regarding one two three asking if you're open to discussing your options here i have second template this is cc i'm a local real estate professional and if you don't like local real estate professional you can remove that you can just be like i'm interested but obviously guys interested still there even though I mentioned here that it should not be included sometimes chat GPT makes mistakes so I would always have follow-up prompts to say hey I notice you have these words still so you can be like please remove the word interested in your templates like hey I hope you're well do you have a moment to chat about and now again you can try to remove on a local real estate you can just be like hi I'm reaching out to homeowners in your neighborhood would you be open to discussing you can always just copy and then put it in your Google Doc to revise it based on how you want it to so to make it more personal you can always have chat GPT generate it and say hey chat GPT can you re write and make it sound more personal not too cheesy but some, have some humor and then there it's gonna tell you hey just wanted to say your home caught my eye and couldn't resist reaching out mind chatting about it and if you guys want, which is I really like, amazing, you can even, like if you're working on a specific local market, you can also be like, hey, I need you to rewrite it to use local humor. So like, can you rewrite and make it sound personal, not too cheesy, but have some local Florida humor, for example, that talks about potentially the weather in Florida again but be careful in using this like here I'm on a mission to find most Floridian homes I don't really like that term but you can always change it but it could be really nice like care to share the backstory really encourage responses not just really asking them about hey do you want to sell right or want to chat about over some Cuban coffee really like this it's CC as a Florida native or someone local in florida i cannot resist a good florida home would you be interested in sharing some local tips with me again you can always ask chat gpt that hey this sounds a little indirect can you try to be to go back with the rule of hey can you be more clear with the intention of buying their home still following my rules above so you can be like hey i feel like this is not so direct and then you can just say okay rewrite it with the intention of this now we're gonna go back to hey you're still using these words so you can just ask chat gpt do this
can always just remove the as a local real estate investor i'm always on the lookout you can just be like hey cc i'm always on the lookout for a great property like yours would you be open to chatting up about your options i really like this first template and if you feel like hey you know what you can be like i need five more templates and then chat gpt is gonna give you five more of these in relation to what you have in here Okay. The other thing that you can do is, let's say, you know, I have, I already have a template, but I just need to ask chat GPT to like, help me rewrite these templates. You can just copy and paste the same way. Okay. And then you can just look and see whether it's actually using any words. And if yes, again, you can just have this second prompt to make sure that it removes the words that you don't like to be in there. So CC here, Brandon mentioned he's looking at another house in the area. I couldn't resist asking, would you be open to discussing? So now you can just simply copy and paste this and use it for your next SMS templates. I'm sure that by this time you are now ready to, or you can now create multiple different SMS variations in just under five minutes using chat GPT. Right? If you do have any questions, let me know. I'm going to share this document for you to just easily copy and paste. And then you can now move forward in, in using this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Hope this video helps. Have a nice day.